police and the county sheriff's deputies are getting some help from the federal level to stop gun violence. NBC 6's Zainaria Bird joins us now live from outside the Tom Stagg Federal Building, sharing details on Operation Legend. Zai? Dan and Jackie, the United States Attorney General is joining forces with local law enforcement for Operation Legend, named after four-year-old Legend Talaferro, who was shot and killed while sleeping in his bed in Kansas City. For far too much of 2020, the people of Shreveport have had to endure rising violent crime and homicide rates. The Department of Justice says in the last year, 10 children were shot in Shreveport. Some even died from their injuries. We want Shreveport to be a safe place to raise families, to go to school, to go to work, and just live every day safe from free from fear. Last year, Attorney General William Barr launched Project Guardian Program, a plan to decrease gun violence across America by enforcing firearm laws, putting criminals behind federal bars. When someone is arrested for federal charges, they are detained. They sit in jail until their time comes. And then once they're convicted, they go to jail for a substantial period of time. They say focusing on people who have illegal guns will reduce violent crimes, calling it proactive policing. Is I want to prevent the crime before it occurs. So if somebody doesn't have a firearm, regardless of how upset or, or what their um, personality may be, they can't commit a, a violent act with a gun if they don't have a gun. Some community members are doubtful this will work. I also feel that this might work as well, but why I say the feeling of doubt overwhelms everything else is the simple fact that I still don't think the problem that we have is going to be solved. What I heard today was really a reenactment of things I heard 30 years ago when you first heard when you first came with Operation Thor. It's the same continuation. But law enforcement says to make it work, they need the help from community members speaking out and reporting what they see. I don't think that it's going to make people speak up more. I do think that it would show, it would give an example to those who are committing those crimes. So I do think that it's going to show them that, hey, we're not playing with y'all. We're going to put you away for good. Once the feds are involved, it's a wrap. And they say for this new initiative to work, they need help from the community. So if you at home have anything to report, you are asked to call Cattle Crime Stoppers at 318-673-7373. Reporting live in Shreveport, I'm Zanaria Bird, NBC6 News. All right, Zanaria, thank you. This afternoon,